Marshall, Texas is a town full of music. The kind of music that makes people get up and dance. Just the past several years, making music, enjoying music, and celebrating music has become a way of life for many people. Marshall is home to sidewalk pickers on the streets, electric jams on telegraph stage, and the ever popular Boogie Woogie Wednesday. From March through November every year, large crowds turn out for Marshall Main Street's second Saturday series. Sidewalk music and classic cars shine all day. At nightfall, free concerts fill the streets with dancing. Local and regional artists, as well as nationally touring acts, regularly perform in a variety of Marshall venues. And every October, the annual Fire Ant Festival rocks the courthouse square day and night with top flight bands and boogie woogie dance contests.
This East Texas town, already well known for its Wonderland of Lights Christmas celebration, is rapidly establishing a reputation as a regional center for outstanding live entertainment throughout the year. This isn't so surprising to people who are familiar with Marshall's musical history and the origins of America's most exciting music because Marshall, Texas is the birthplace of Boogie Woogie. By the 1930s, oral histories had established that boogie-woogie music originated in the piney woods of Northeast Texas in the early 1870s. The music was closely associated with the introduction of steam locomotive and railroad construction in the area. Trains hauled timbers out of the logging camps where African-American workers were often entertained at night by barrel house piano players. The chuffing of steam, the percussive and rhythmic turning of the driver wheels, the clang of the bell, the wail of the whistle, all of these railroad sounds are deeply embodied in the sound of boogie-woogie music. In 2006, Dr. John Tennyson, a San Antonio psychiatrist, musician, and music historian, began to narrow the focus of Boogie Woogie's point of origin. Since the late 1930s, attributions have been made to East Texas as the birthplace of Boogie Woogie, but no one had ever really applied the municipality principle and tried to ask themselves the question, what, based on everything we know, would be the most probable municipality that would be closest to the center of gravity of where the earliest Boogie Woogie was played. He determined that crucial to the area where the music emerged were a large population of newly emancipated African Americans, close proximity to a railroad hub and railroad building activities, robust logging camp operations in the surrounding piney woods. After studying census data, forestry maps, and rail and logging histories, Dr. Tennyson was surprised to discover that all these elements were present in only one Northeast Texas metropolitan area when the music emerged in the 1870s. That town was Marshall, Texas, which became the headquarters of the Texas and Pacific Railway in 1872. When I looked at all of the population centers and, and the rail construction at that time, there was no other municipality that made more sense as a probabilistic center of gravity than Marshall. The TNP Railroad helped carry the music that originated in Marshall in all directions. From the Marshall area came performers who would make a lasting impression on the world. Hootie Ledbetter, better known as Leadbelly, was born near Marshall on the south shoreline of Caddo Lake. The man who gave the world Goodnight Irene, The Midnight Special, and hundreds of other great songs spent much of his early life in and around Marshall. In the ponds, in the pond, where the sun don't ever shine, I wish you would all night too. Floyd Dixon was born and raised in Marshall, and in between such fabled songs as Hey Bartender and Wine, 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 he sang about his old hometown in such songs as Doing the Town and Marshall, Texas is my home. Yes, and Marshall, Texas is my home. 
Well, I don't have no sister. Call my dear. Don't have no brother. I said, hey, bartender. Hey, man, look here. Draw one, draw two, draw three, four glasses of beer. Floyd Dixon sometimes returned with his pal Amos Milburn to play free concerts for the students at Pemberton High in Marshall. Amos Milburn and Floyd Dixon, right there in that auditorium. Yeah. At one of those concerts, their playing inspired young David Alexander Elam. It's almost like I can see him and hear him in that playing now, you know. Elam left Marshall in 1955 for the West Coast and was soon performing and recording as Dave Alexander. By the time he changed his name to Omar Sheriff in 1972, he had developed a reputation as one of the best boogie-woogie and blues piano players of his generation. Sheriff was sometimes regarded as a musical encyclopedia because of the vast repertoire developed over many years of playing in small clubs and bars such as the legendary Minnie's Can Do Club in San Francisco. But he also created hauntingly beautiful music of his own, often reflecting his own troubled life. Around 2006, because of open heart surgery and other medical problems, his difficulties mounted. After appearing at the 2008 Chicago Blues Festival, Omar Sheriff slipped from public view. Many of the people who admired his music thought that he had died. About the time Marshall, Texas was rediscovering its musical heritage in early 2010, Dr. John Tennyson learned that Sheriff was living in Sacramento, California. When I first met Omar in spring of 2010, he was living in a state of squalor in his apartment in Sacramento. Um, he was barely able to make ends meet at that time, and he had just lost his last paying music gig right before I met him. The city of Marshall invited Sheriff to return and perform at a Boogie Woogie homecoming concert. Please welcome Omar Sharif. After an absence of 55 years, Omar Sharif returned to his old hometown and demonstrated to the birthplace of Boogie Woogie what great blues and boogie piano was all about.
Thank you. The people of Marshall were so taken with his performance, he was invited back for a Christmas performance and then returned to Marshall permanently as artist in residence and Boogie Woogie Ambassador. Sheriff lived and performed regularly in Marshall for the last year of his life. in Marshall as David Alexander Elam helped the city reconnect with its great musical heritage. Marshall is once again a town full of music. Just what you expect from the birthplace of Boogie Woogie.